Okay, so USB boot just got super easy on Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, it's now been added to Raspi config. Uh, now, if we go into my uh, emails, I had an email from Nico Bellic, uh, and he's given me some great tips before in the past, and it's been added to Raspi config uh, in the boot options. So if I close that down, open a terminal, uh, this is a version of, of Raspberry Pi OS I've had for a while, so let's update it. Uh, and I saw in an article the other day uh, and I was going to mention it in Raspberry Pi news. If you uh, don't want to type sudo every time, just do sudo dash i, hit return, and that gives you root. So then you can do apt update instead of doing sudo apt update. And I thought that was quite a nice little tip. Okay, you can see there's quite a few updates here. So let's do sudo, uh, let's do apt upgrade. and hit yes. And this tip also works for Twister OS. And once you've done this, uh, you can just straight away image things like, well, the new Supreme Ultra, which isn't out yet, uh, which is a version of RetroPie, is USB boot straight off. Twister OS is USB boot straight off. Uh, I believe Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit is as well, and definitely Raspberry Pi 64-bit has been USB boot for ages. Okay, so when that's all finished, you can reboot. Okay, so then that's rebooted. Um, I've actually got my uh, two SSDs plugged into my Pi at the moment. Uh, so I've got uh, Twister OS and I've also got Supreme Ultra Retro Pi in there, uh, which both USB boot. But because I'm running Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit from my SD card, that's what it booted to as standard. So let's type in sudo raspi dash config and there's loads of things you can change in here but the one we want is boot options uh, and then we've got loads more options than we, than we would have had before so choose whether to boot into a desktop environment wait for network at boot splash screen choose graphical splash screen or text boot that's all new uh, boot order let's have a look USB boot ah, so I need to update this uh, so that update doesn't update the boot options. So go into boot options, uh, boot ROM version, and then latest. Use the latest version of boot ROM software. Let's see what that does. Latest version selected will be loaded at next reboot. Reset boot ROM to defaults. Yes. It said installing. So now we get a boot and boot order, USB boot. USB device is default boot device. Right, let's see what happens now then. So as I said, I've got two SSDs plugged into my Pi at the moment, and, uh, and I've also got the SD card in the slot. So it'll be interesting to see which SSD boots first. Yeah, so either Twister OS uh, or Supreme Ultra Retro Pi. Well, let's see. So let's hit yes. Okay, so as you can see, it's booted up with the SD card. So let's just double check that then. So go back into Raspberry config, boot options, boot order. Ah, look, boot from USB device if SD card boot fails. Right, yeah. So I'm gonna take, well, I can't take it out yet. Uh, so I'm gonna shut down. So let's close that and let's shut down. I didn't read it properly. And I'll restart without the SD card in. Okay, so on the previous boot, we saw uh, Supreme Ultra Retro Pi. There was two SSDs plugged into my Pi and it chose that one. There doesn't seem to be a way of choosing which drive it boots from. Uh, so you need to unplug any other boot drive uh, when you're starting up your Pi. But uh, I've just restarted again with my 32-bit Raspberry Pi OS in a micro SD caddy and this is just proving that this now has USB boot. So yeah, super easy to get USB boot now. Really pleased with that. Thanks very much to Nico Bellic for letting me know and uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.